Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching Where Was Sim again. Hope you guys are all having a great day so far. And in today's video, we got something really interesting to talk about. Because not only have we haven't had severe weather for about a month, or haven't we had severe weather for the entire month of October, but after seeing like no severe weather for quite some time we're getting ready to see a really big change after all of that break and and we'll continue to keep you guys updated about this but we'll even talk about it through the video but six to ten day outlook we will be seeing above average temperatures across much of the country besides Southern California does have a slight chance of below average um, temperatures while the precipitation outlook we got this second level heading all the way to the east coast or at least the second best chance for above average precipitation heading all the way to the east coast and the west coast so I mean the reason why we have this is because we're going to have storms racing across the country and same goes for 8 to 14 day outlook we got that big area of above average precipitation for pretty much some of the same areas that have already seen a chance in the 6 to 10 day outlook and look this does include Indiana and even Utah so I mean this is just gonna be nuts guys this is just gonna be nuts but as we take a look at the precipitation outlook or the heavy rain outlook we actually do have two threats we got one for the west coast again and then we got another one across the same areas that have already had a threat for heavy rain so if we continue to see more of these threats for heavy rain this could end up being like outbreak outbreak and outbreak i mean i don't know if we're talking like tornado outbreaks but we may be talking a few severe weather outbreaks depending on how this storm really plays out but snow outlook we do have two outlooks for heavy snow we do have one across Washington into Oregon I don't know if this includes Portland but it does include um, areas around that and then over here to the east we do have another area that does include western Montana gain into eastern Ohio, Idaho and then even a few other areas but for the wind outlook exactly same thing as the precipitation um, this goes for the same same date as the precipitation outlook over here and this does include western Oregon and western and western Washington so yeah excessive rainfall outlook no outlook for today as you see it is showing a zero percent chance but we are but we are looking at a few few areas that could see flash flooding on day three four and even five where that continues to shift off east after it has just issued for southern texas but we look at the radar not only have we have we been seeing less in the way of storms for quite some time but we're already going to start seeing some storms come come into alabama and even the panhandle of florida and as we continue to see that they're kind of more isolated or scattered than they are widespread but those will finally head off and then we got this like light wave of showers that definitely could bring bring some beneficial rain across across a lot of these areas but then we continue to make this far we got one big concern to watch for because if you look as soon as we get into november 21 or november 22 we'll see heavy snow okay across this area more likely november 21 and this is gonna be for the evening guys that's just gonna be nuts so you won't be able to see it very well because it will be dark but it will still be a time that you're awake so you can just look out the window and you'll see all of this heavy snow falling across all of Indiana, getting into all of Illinois, all of Michigan, and even much of Ohio because if you look at as soon as, as soon as Indiana gets done with the snow then 
Ohio continues to start seeing snow now. So, I mean, this is just going to be nuts, guys. And if you look, we could probably see another round of snow as soon as that comes off the West Coast. But we're still pretty far out. I mean, for November 22, we're heading at least at least 15 days out still. Or I, I think, think it's more like 7... I think it's more like 12 days out, I think, yeah. We're having, we're heading only 12 days out, which, which is less than two weeks to, to where we see this heavy snow fall occur. So, I mean, we may be talking about this, especially because it's not super long out, but we are still heading quite, quite, quite far out. But... But, as we do take a look at the snowfall outlook, guys, I was surprised about this, because if you look anywhere from now to November 25th, and just look, guys, we're seeing up to 15 inches of snow for pretty much um, northern Maine, and northern Bernard, northern New Hampshire, northern New York, northern Pennsylvania, northern Ohio, and even northern Indiana getting a chance for for up to a foot of snow but then areas south of that area we could be talking up to maybe maybe talking up to about an inch of snow in some areas maybe a little bit higher just just because we'll be seeing heavy snow it may not occur for long in indiana so we may be like wrong about the snow so we may be be um shorter on snowfall especially because it won't be for long but since there's heavy snow occurring we may be talking more than three inches in southwest india so we'll have to see about that but as we look at the jet stream we're gonna go ahead and take this forward and we're gonna take this all the way to where our storm comes because that's gonna be our main concern and as you see we got this little pressure system here bringing a risk for probably some heavy snowfall especially because we already saw on the same date that the low pressure system is around this area and as you see that will continue to head northeast and then as that finally heads out will continue to um, keep having more and more low pressure system across this area so we may even be talking more and more outbreaks. Total precipitation is looking pretty beneficial across a lot of areas, especially New England where we're seeing it, where we're seeing at least up to three inches. Some areas may be gaining up to seven inches, especially across central New Hampshire. But as we get all the way down to the south, we're seeing isolated pockets of up to seven inches across Georgia, Alabama, even Louisiana, maybe a tiny one in Mississippi, but we're even seeing seen some like up to three inches across all these states of so Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and even South Carolina seen at least up to three inches in lots of areas, maybe even up to five just because we got the sevens around. So I mean this is just gonna be nuts guys. And for the Ohio Valley looking like we may get some pretty good amounts. We're definitely not much below average, but at least an inch or at least um, help for some of the month of November if we can get that. So, let's hope for the best. But as we look at our temperatures, we're going to go ahead and start off with with today around 6 a.m. And we're going to continue to take this forward. And as you see, we will continue to keep seeing above average temperature for quite some time. And as you see, we get kind of a freeze we can get a thing of freezing on November 20th across the Ohio Valley <laughs> but as, as we continue to take this forward we'll continue to um, stay freezing especially at our nighttime hours and as you see temperatures gain as low as 17 degrees and across across a lot of areas so I mean this is gonna be nuts guys and I want to be honest with you guys, on November 22, we will be seeing freezing at night. And that's the exactly the same reason why we're seeing snow at night, guys. And that is just going to be nuts. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will keep you guys updated on the storm. But for how it's playing out, this is very unusual. Like, this... <clears throat>
excuse me, this is just very unusual for this time of year, especially after having no severe weather, then literally just going back to severe weather. So we'll have to see about that, but thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll do one tomorrow.